New tonight, an x-ray shared by an animal rescue organization shows a dog's microchip far away from where it was originally implanted. The x-ray shows a dog's front leg, the microchip moving through the dog from its back. And the rescue organization says the chip was missed at the shelter. It got us thinking, how common is this? And if a microchip migrates, does it mean some lost dogs are not reunited with their owners? NBC Charlotte's Rob Hughes spoke to a local veterinarian and has more. My buddy Mackie here is going to help me demonstrate. Normally, when a vet implants a microchip, it's right between the shoulder blades and the back. But in that x-ray, the chip had migrated all the way into the dog's forearm, making it easy for a shelter to miss if he ever got lost. That is a risk that you're running when you microchip your dog. I'd argue that there's really no better thing to do. Canine Paw Print Rescue in California originally posted the x-ray on Facebook as a PSA. Looking at the x-ray, I thought, probably pretty uncommon that we would see something like that. But not unheard of. According to a study in the United Kingdom, one in 10,000 pets experience true microchip migration. Owner of Queen City Animal Hospital, Dr. Jay Harai says ideally a shelter or vet would be able to find the chip even if it moved. You know, we teach our staff here to scan a dog in multiple spots for a microchip including the, around the extremities. The caption on the post reminding owners it's important to have your pet scanned for its chip at every vet exam. Right around here is when it went off, which is where, I mean, 99% of the time we microchip them right there. So. The more common microchip misstep, pet owners not registering the chip initially or updating their information as needed. You need to change your address if you move. If you end up having the dog go somewhere else, make sure you update the records to reflect that. And if your pet has a microchip, you can also register it with Animal Care and Control. All of their officers have scanners in their vehicles. That way, if they find a dog, they can try to return it home without ever having to go to a shelter. In Charlotte, Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte. So the bottom line, if you get a chip, make sure you keep up with it, update the information right. with it as well. And I'm very impressed at how well behaved Rob's dog is. A show dog. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah.